But this, as we now know, came roaring out of China. And this is what upsets me so much about the, uh, about the signing of the um, trade deal, phase one. I think it's a 25 or 30 man contingent from China. Did they give anybody a heads up about how bad this, uh, how bad this was? Because the Chinese government, the CCP, definitely knew it. Okay, we got to be very blunt about that. Hold, we have to hold people accountable, not like the WHO, kowtowing to the CCP and saying, hey, they're so transparent and they're on top of things. They were forced to do this. This is why Dr. Bradley Thayer and Leah Chan Han's piece in The Hill that came out, I think, Monday or Tuesday that we've got up on the site, that this is the China's biological Chernobyl, exact same playbook, total incompetence of a regime, a totalitarian regime, complete incompetence, okay, and then all they want to do is cover it up. What happened? To their, there were eight heroes of this entire endeavor when this finally comes up. Eight heroes, Jack Maxey, who identified early on. Now, these guys were arrested by the authorities. This will hold it, but this was in early December. So in the early, first, mid-December, yes. The first couple weeks of December, they were saying this, okay? And then the guy who's in the headlines is an ophthalmologist from uh, part of this group, arrested for saying false rumors that were not this part was of the, the state spread, media. This was the, there was a very big controversy, spreading of false rumors against the state. Yes. This is what's so important. It is the little guy. It's the deplorable in China that called this out. And what did they do to him? They arrested him. Okay, this is the big thing of spreading false rumors, right? False rumors against the state. And this is why now this thing is for the and this is what's so revolting about global these these global institutions. Okay, WHO kowtowing. This should have been called a health emergency weeks ago. Dr. Hatfield, you can you sit there and tell me that smart people did not understand what was going on it's like, the, it's like the afghanistan report in the washington post that for 17 years we've been lied to consistently by the institutions and the people in the institutions and the media to spin a totally different reality it's the little guy that bears the <laughs> burden of these diseases they've got the worst public health services in their area they bear the burden but they're also the truth tellers yes